Hi, and welcome back to Holistic Developer channel. I'm Anna, the host of this channel. Usually on this channel you will see me talking about coding interviews, uh, career in tech, software engineering, what languages are popular, or what language should you learn uh, to code, and other things related to tech. And in this video I will be talking about something that it's not an easy topic for me to talk about, but it's been on my mind for about a year. So the things that I'll be sharing with you today are the things that I wish I knew well in advance before I joined a bootcamp. The reality it was that I did my due diligence, I researched all the bootcamps and I landed on App Academy and it looked that is the best option out there. And in reality, maybe is the best option. If this is the best option, I don't know what are the other boot camps, what they're doing. I truly don't know. Am I like my experience is an outlier and it been like that? I have no idea. But what I'm trying to do here is that I want you to know about these cases that might happen, the the pros and cons about joining a bootcamp, trying to learn and uh, to code in this setting and this environment and no, like is a bootcamp worth? Should you join a bootcamp or why you should not join a bootcamp? Like what can you expect from a coding bootcamp? This kind of questions, I hope to provide some clarity with the experience that I had. So let's get into the my experience with pros and cons of attending a Cody bootcamp. It's been a year since I enrolled to App Academy online. And if I were to have a choice, I would not do an online bootcamp, but we were doing a pandemic and that was the only safe option. So truth be told, I, I am disappointed about the experience that I had at App Academy. And if I were to just go ahead and talk about what is my review, what is my feedback about my experience at this coding bootcamp, I truly, truly want to give it the positive feedback that it has, all the five stars that you have, you can find on the reviews on the internet. But in reality, that was not my experience, that not, was not my case. And it might be that is case by case, because it depends on who are your instructors, who you are dealing with, who are your TAs and so on. And sadly, there are different people teaching you at different times. So you cannot select which cohort you're going to do or know how good your teachers are. But be before I get into dive into de those details. Let's look at the structure of the video I want to have today. And I'll be talking about three categories of what was at App Academy. And the first category is the curriculum. The second is the instructors, the TAs, coaching career, and actually general as well. I think it's actually four, four things that I want to talk. So I will keep it short and to the point. So I have the notes here. So I want to make sure that I don't derail to the things that kind of disappointed me the most. So I want to focus on the things that was okay and the things that were not okay, the pros and the cons. And I'll have actually a second video where I'll talk about actual examples, actual situations that happened. So if you're interested, the second video will be <laughs> recorded because otherwise this video will be way too long. So let's start with the curriculum. So the, I'll start with the pros. <laughs> and the pro is that truly the tech stack that is part of the curriculum, the technology that you will be learning, the programming language, and other things that you're going to learn uh, with App Academy, it's truly marketable and is what is hot right now, what the tech empl employers and companies are looking to hire, like are looking for those engineers to have those skills. The cons are that it has a lot of errors. The curriculum, we were the cohort that I think we were the second or actually the third cohort on that curriculum. And 
it was a new curriculum and it was a lot of errors there and if you want to hear more details it will be in the next video where i actually provide examples right now i'm focusing on the pros and cons and the next kind of con it was that there were topics that fully everything was outsourced let's say that it was it was the material was not developed by app academy but it was something that it will be a link to a youtube channel or to a YouTube specific person who is talking about recursion. It was not exactly recursion, but they were outsourcing uh, that particular material to something else. Um, there were blogs and the thing is like here and there, one link here and there, it's okay, but there were actually entirely new topics that were introduced and everything was to, to go and learn from somewhere else. And it didn't feel right to me that you're paying this amount of money, like more than $30,000 for a six months bootcamp to have something that you can reach and you can use without paying that insane amount of money. Moving on to instructors, their pros. They're, the instructors are super nice people. The TA is super nice people enjoyable to be around, to chat, to share the cons. Even though they are able to code, they are not skilled to teach. It's one thing to, to know how to get from point A to point Z yourself, and it's completely a different thing to be able to provide the directions, the navigation for a completely new person who doesn't know the area, how to get from that point A to point B. It's a skill you need to be able to teach or you need to be able to explain. And sadly, that was not the case for my experience. And that was really disappointing. So the cohort that I was part of, the instructors were not skilled to teach. That was just the reality. It didn't matter how much um, that affected everybody. It was just the way it was. The other thing is that they also don't know the material. Like, just quickly one example, but I will dive into more details. We were learning Docker and the instructor didn't know Docker. Coaching the pros is that you actually have a person dedicated to you to talk every week for 30 minutes. So you have a real coach and actually having a true coach, it, it costs money, right? So that's the pro. The con is that, at least in my experience, it was that even those 30 minutes that you have with them, they are not present with you most of the time because they have so many students that they have to coach they're like, oh, you don't have nothing to talk about today? You're good. 10 minutes meeting, just quick status and that's it. And that was something that surprised me. So uh, the next con it was that when you truly needed them because you had an offer or you go through an interview and you need to ask questions, you kind of have to have like a three or four days uh, to reach out to them because they're fully booked, they're not available, they have meetings and stuff like that. And they truly are not available for you when you truly need them, um, that you need to negotiate an offer or something like that. And they're not available. So it's kind of, you have them, but you truly don't have them. Um, another con that I experienced was that Promising things that are not being delivered, just stuff being said and completely forgot until the next time. And if you don't keep track of the things that were promised, uh, you won't get them. In those cases, even if you track them, <laughs> you won't get them. Let's move on to general. I don't know what is the pro. Um, it's general. It's they're trying their best, honestly. They try to organize different events. They are trying to to be there for you, but the reality, they are short-staffed. Um, they don't have the skills that they need and stuff like that. And the cons is that 
they are actually favoritism and actually in our cohort they were favoritism for certain students like you were supposed to deliver something and if you didn't deliver you are out right um, of the cohort or actually out and some people were not delivering and they were forgotten or they were not even prompted about like where are you like when are you going to deliver the next thing is that there's um, it's so strict about that you ev practically every week at the end of the week actually you learn something for a week and next Monday first thing in the morning you are going to do a test a quiz or exam sometimes it's an hour sometimes two hours sometimes three hours different length and they the the kind of the hard rule is that the, the passing grade is 80 percent sadly that was not the case when it was in favor of app academy so if somebody didn't got 80 percent um and if it was favorable for app academy they will pass that person and if it's not favorable to app academy they will not pass that like i will talk about specific examples into separate video i want to keep this straight to the point and yeah that is it what i can share here um, for the longest time i wanted to stay positive about my experience at app academy and truth be told the reality is that I was disappointed. I am still disappointed with my experience. And yes, I did learn a lot of things, but that was the majority. I would say the 95%. It was due to me that I learned those things that I put like 80 to 100 hours to, to get there. And I knew about the fact that I'll have to put a lot of hours to learn, but my expectation it was that I'll have experts to teach me, to explain things when I am confused or something doesn't click or something doesn't un doesn't make sense. Uh, my expectation was not that I'll have like everything will be bite-sized fed to me to understand it. That was never my expectation. My expectation was that if I'm not clear to something, if something needs to be explained to to kind of hit or to wrap your head around something, that the person will be able to, to explain that to you. And sadly, when I was trying to get an explanation, when I was trying to get clarifications, I'll get more confused than I started before asking those questions. So yeah, overall my experience was disappointed, disappointing and the reality was that that was not only my feeling, it was other people's feelings as well. Some people were okay with sharing that, they were okay with stating that it's not going well, but you need to scale up on the fact that you need to be able to teach the material, you need to prepare for the class and stuff like that, and nothing was happening. And there were people in the cohort that they were not happy with the situation also, but they cannot afford to be um, kicked out, let's say. So they were just doing their best like anybody else just to learn and get the skills they needed to get, like the knowledge that they were looking for, the experience they were looking for. And sadly, we were not in that scenario. So yeah i'll leave it like that and if you want to hear the rant that i have it will be actually a rant and i'll try to talk about it because i have like through through the six months that i was doing app academy every mo the majority of the time i was writing something on paper like when something was not okay when something was amiss and something that it's, it's not the way it should be i was writing them down and a lot of things is still in my mind, I'll, I still remember it and I try to keep it positive, but in the reality is that I'm, I'm at a certain level upset and disappointed and 
at times angry. So if you want to hear that rant about real situations, real examples with me <laughs> going through App Academy, uh, then make sure to turn the notification bell on, subscribe so you will be notified when that video will be posted. If you found this video valuable, then share it with the people who are considering to go to a bootcamp, people who are considering to learn uh, to code and they are in the kind of not sure should they learn by themselves, should they go to a college, should they go to university or attend a bootcamp. Because in this video, I am sharing stuff that I wish I knew when I was starting.